So welcome back to Coding CEO, the channel where I empower you to become the CEO of your own coding journey. In today's video, I have an exciting topic lined up for you, predicting stock prices using LSTM neural networks. The stock market is a complex and dynamic environment and being able to predict stock prices accurately can give you a significant edge. LSTM or long short term memory neural networks are powerful tools in the field of machine learning known for their ability to analyze sequential data making them ideal for time series prediction tasks like stock price forecasting. In this video we will dive deep into the world of LSTM models and see how they can be applied to predict stock prices. We will walk you through the entire process from loading and pre-processing the data to building and training our LSTM model using the popular Keras library. You will witness firsthand how the model performs on real world stock market data. We will start by loading and visualizing the Tesla stock market data set using powerful Python libraries like NumPy, Pandas and Matplotlib. We will then pre-process the data ensuring it's in the right format for our LSTM model. With our data ready, we will construct our LSTM model complete with multiple LSTM layers and dense layers for optimal performance. We will guide you through the training process where the model learns from historical stock prices. And we will evaluate its performance using industry standard metrics. Finally, we will put our model to the test by making predictions on unseen data and visualizing the result side by side with the actual stock prices. Whether you are a seasoned investor or a coding enthusiast looking to expand your skill set, this video is packed with practical knowledge that can elevate your understanding of LSTM models and their applications in predicting stock prices. So grab your favorite coding setup, sit back and get ready to uncover the secrets behind predicting stock prices using LSTM neural networks. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss any of our exciting coding tutorials. Without further delay, let's dive right into the code and see how we can become the masters of predicting stock prices using LSTM. So I have given the data set link in the description box. We have a problem statement, Tesla stock price predictions. We need to import these many libraries for our project. We need LumPy, Pandas, Matplotlib, we need pandas underscore data reader as web. We need sklearn dot preprocessing, mean max scalar. We need a model from Keras, which is sequential model. We need layers from Keras library, which are dense and LSTM layers. Sequential is a class from Keras library, which is a high level neural network API. Sequential allows building models layer by layer in a linear stack. In the code, it is used to create a sequential model for the LSTM networks. Dense is a layer and LSTM is also a layer. Dense is a fully connected layer in Keras. It is used to add a fully connected layer to the model. In the code, it is used to add dense layers to the LSTM model. The LSTM layer is a type of a recurrent neural network layer, RNN layer in Keras. It is used to add LSTM layers to the model. Basically, they are suitable for processing sequences of data, such as a time series data set. Now, what is LSTM model? LSTM stands for long short term memory, which is it is a type of recurrent neural network architecture that is specifically designed to handle and learn from sequential data, such as a time series data or a text data. It is a variant of the basic RNN model that addresses the vanishing gradient problem, which can occur when training RNNs on long sequences. LSTM networks are composed of memory cells that can retain information for long period of time, allowing them to capture and remember dependencies in the input sequence. Each memory cell is equipped with three gates the input gate, the forward gate and the output gate. These gates regulate the flow of information into, out of and within the memory cell. 
allowing the model to selectively remember or forgot information as they needed. The LSTM model is particularly effective in tasks that involve modeling sequences and capturing long-term dependencies. It has been successfully applied in various domains including natural language processing, speech recognition, the time series analysis and many more. In the context of providing code, the LSTM model is utilized to predict future stock prices based on historical price data. So these library provide essential functionalities and tools uh, for data handling, visualization, pre-processing and building neural network models required for stock price prediction task in the given code. So just we need to load the Tesla stock market data set. For that, we need to connect our collab with our drive. So once it is mounted successfully, we can load the Tesla stock market data set from the file tesla.csv. Then we, I can show you the data set using the df function. df is a variable for that data frame. So in this data frame, we have a few columns, we have few rows. We have 1692 rows and we have a total of seven columns. One is date, open, high, low, close, volume and adjacent close. So basically, I already uploaded videos on uh, NumPy Pandas Matplotlib. You can refer them in the description, but Keras, I have not covered yet. Overall, talking about it, the Keras library, Keras is a high level neural network API written in Python. It is designed to provide a user friendly interface for building and training deep learning models. Keras allows for easy and efficient prototyping of neural networks, enabling researchers and developers to quickly iterate on their ideas. Here are the listed key features and benefits of the Keras library. One is simple and intuitive API. Second one is it is a modular and extensible architecture. Third one is multi backend support. Fourth one, seamless integration with TensorFlow. Fifth, extensive community support. Overall, Keras is a powerful and versatile library that simplifies the process of building and training deep learning models. It provides high level interface, abstraction of low level details and compatibility with the different backends, making it a popular choice for both beginners and experienced deep learning practitioners. Moving to the code, we need to first convert the date column to the date time and set it as an index. We have done that using these lines of course. Here I have write in plus equal to true. By using this, uh, I have made the changes in the data set which is available in the CSV file in the drive also. Plotting the closing price history for our data frame. So from data frame, we have a close and uh, want it in the red color x label as date and y label as close price usd so close price history we have plot the graph of uh, tesla stock prices after analyzing it we need to create a new data frame with only a close column the data frame name as data set okay we need to further scale our data in that we have a mean max scalar and which is a feature range of 0 to 1 talking about this mean max scalar it is a pre-processing class from the scikit-learn library. It is used to scale the data uh, to a specified range. In, in this case, we have used the feature range between 0 to 1. Scaling is commonly applied to normalize the input data uh, and for better model performance, basically. After that, we need to transform that data set the result is stored in this variable scaled data. We need to split the data into training and testing data set. As you can see here, we have used 80% of training data and 20% of testing data. We need to then prepare the, our training data for X train and Y train. We need to build our LSTM model using this X train. We use here a sequential model. So sequential, as I explained earlier, sequential is a class from a Keras lab. After compiling our model, we need to use the optimizer and a loss function. For that, in this code, Adam 
refers to the optimization algorithm used to train the neural network models and uh, mean squared error that is mse is a loss function used to measure the performance of the model during the training adam stands for adaptive movement uh, estimation this is the optimization algorithm that combines ideas from both adagrad and rms prop algorithm adam is widely used in deep learning models because it performs well in various types of data and model architectures it adapts the learning rate during the training based on the estimation of first order and second order movement of the gradient the adam optimizer adjusts the model's weight and biases in a way that minimizes the loss function further i have used on the loss function as mean squared error it is a common loss function used in regression problem it is it calculates the average squared difference between the predicted value and the actual one in the case of provided code the mean squared error loss function is used to measure the performance of the regression model the goal is to minimize this loss function during a training which means reducing the difference between the predicted and the actual values by using this adam optimizer and mean squared error as a loss function the model is trained to minimize the mean squared error between the predicted and actual values of the target variables in this case uh, we have the closing prices of uh, tesla stock as a target variable the optimizer adjusts the model's parameters that is weights and biases to find the optimal values that minimize the loss function i run this code so basically in the context of neural networks and machine learning and epoch refers to a complete pass through the entire training data set during each epoch the model goes through the entire training data set calculate the loss that is the error and updates the model's weight and biases based on the loss using the optimization algorithm in this case we have a adam optimizer which is used earlier the number of epochs determine how many times the model will iterate over the training data set in the provided uh, code snippet we have epoch equal to 10 means that the model will go through the training data sets 10 times each time updating the model's weight and biases to improve the performance increasing the number of epoch can potentially improve the model's accuracy but it has a disadvantages it should be balanced with the risk of overfitting the data in the output we got we got each line which represent the progress of the model training during each epoch let's break down the information provided in each line epoch 1 by 10 p which, which is uh, indicates that it is the first epoch out of a total of 10 epochs and epoch refers to complete pass through the entire training data set the progress bar we have which is a visually indicating the progress of current epoch we have some loss that is 0.0029.0.0013 and that which is represent the loss value at the end of the current epoch what is that loss value it is a measure of the model's performance indicating the difference between the predicted output and the actual output in this case the loss value is 0.0029 indicating a relatively small difference between the predicted and actual values the subsequent lines provided the similar information for each epoch the loss value generally decreases uh, from with each epoch as the model learns and adjusts its parameters to minimize the difference between the predicted and the actual outputs you can see that first loss is 0.0029 second one is 0.0013 third loss is actually negligible 9.4027 into 10 raised to power minus 04 so overall uh, these uh, lines provides a visual representation of the training progress showing the epoch number batch progress and a loss value after each epoch i will meet you after this all epochs all this training data set done so i have trained this model using the epoch 10 epochs it will take me uh, more than around 8 minutes it is depending on the system after the training has done we need to prepare our testing data for that preparation we need x test and y test 
Now it is time to visualize the prediction. For that, the provided code is responsible for visualizing and predictions made by the LSTM model in comparison to the actual stock price. It creates a plot with the uh, following element. The actual test data is represented by a line plot of a stock prices from the end of the training data to the end of the data set. And the predicted prices are represented by the line plots indicating the predicted stock prices generated by the model for the corresponding time steps. The plot includes a title, X labels and Y labels. A legend is displayed in the upper center labeling the train actual and predictions data for easy interpretation. Finally, the plot is shown on the screen using plt.show. Uh, this visualization allows for a visual comparison between the actual stock prices and the predicted prices, giving insights into how well the model performs in capturing the underlying patterns and trends in the data. After this visualization, we need to print our predicted prices. This line of code simply prints the predicted price of the stock at the final timestamp, providing an estimation based on the trained LSD model. So concluding in this YouTube video, I demonstrate the use of LSTM that is long short term memory neural network architecture to predict stock prices. I began by loading and visualizing the Tesla stock market dataset using popular libraries such as NumPy, Pandas, Matplotlib. The data was pre-processed by scaling and splitting it into the training and testing data. I built the LSTM model using the Keras library incorporating two LSTM layers and dense layers. The model was trained on the training data and evaluated using the mean squared error loss function. After training, I used the model to predict the stock prices on the testing data. The predictions were then visualized alongside the actual prices using the matplotlib. Through this code demonstration, you gained valuable insights into how LSTM models can be applied to the time series data for accurate predictions. Thank you for watching this video on Coding CEO. I hope you found this demonstration of using LSTM neural networks for stock price predictions informative and engaging. By exploring the code together, we actually encounter a lot of things. So I really enjoy this section. Remember, as a programmer, understanding machine learning algorithms like LSTM can be a powerful tool in predicting stock prices and making informed investment decisions. If you enjoy this video, be sure to like this video, subscribe to Coding CEO for more exciting coding tutorials, data analysis and AI related content. Stay tuned for future videos where we will explore more fascinating coding concepts. Keep coding, keep learning and keep being the CEO of your own coding journey. Thank you for your support and I will see you in the next video.